In this chapter, Caleb and I are building the Mandalorian's blaster and spear. Welcome to Chapter 2 of the Mandalorian series. Over the next few months, Hacksmith Industries will be piecing together our very own Mandalorian suit. And we aren't just stopping at the armor. We'll be including a few weapons and even a couple of special builds. All leading up to an epic finale where James will don the suit for the first time and put it to the ultimate test. You definitely don't want to miss it. In Chapter 1, James built Mando's flamethrower. If you missed it, there's a link in the description below. With the flamethrower complete, he's moved on to the most recognizable and iconic piece of the entire project, the helmet. And like every chapter in the series, that video is available early, as in right now, exclusively to members. If you're not already a member and would like early access to all our videos, click the link below. With James busy on the helmet, I get to take on building Mando's trusty blaster. And for good measure, we're gonna do the spear as well. Lucky for me, a couple of years ago, we built the Han Solo blaster, so I can use that as my reference. For the spear, however, well, that's just a pointy metal stick. Sounds like a perfect project for a new co-op, Caleb. What? This? is our Han Solo blaster. Like I mentioned earlier, we built it a few years ago to shoot at the Death Star. That's no moon. <laughs> it's basically just a flare gun. And although it is quite similar to Mando's blaster, there are quite a few differences as well, which means I can use it as reference, but I will need to do a full aesthetic redesign. Luckily, there's no shortage of reference material online, so it should be fairly simple. Let's get started. Bogdan didn't really introduce me, so I guess I'll do it myself. This is Caleb. Caleb studies mechatronics engineering at the University of Waterloo. It says here that he's been programming since grade school, and he's even designed some PCBs for the Waterloo Formula Electric team. I think we'll hire him. My first assignment will be designing the Mandalorian's Beskar Spear. Well, he gets started with that. I'm almost done with the blaster design. Let's take a look. So there's two side plates over here that we can laser cut out of mild steel. We can 3D print some wooden handles onto it using some wood fill filament. And then the nozzle, we can actually turn on the lathe and then weld the whole thing together to give this beautiful blaster look. Let's make it real.
This portion of the video is sponsored by a special game celebrating its two year anniversary. That's right, Raid Shadow Legends is two years old. Hey, you guys brought a cake too? I'm sure you've heard of it already. I mean, I've talked about it on our channel a ton of times, but the real question is, why haven't you tried it yet? It's an epic RPG where you collect, train, and outfit your team of heroes to go on the ultimate adventure. What I like most about Raid is building up an awesome team of heroes equipped with all the right weapons and armor, not unlike what we do here at Hacksmith Industries. To celebrate their two-year anniversary, there will be six weeks of anniversary events and tournaments starting on March 1st, all with insane prizes to win. They're even launching the first Clan v Clan tournament to give players a chance to compete directly against other clans to see who's best. They're also releasing the first champion in the badass looking Shadowkin faction, which I can't wait to see. Just click the link below to get a free epic champion, Jotun, 100,000 silver, 50 gems, and three ancient shards so you can summon some awesome champions as soon as you get in game. Once you're in, you can find me as the Hacksmith, and who knows, if you act soon, maybe you can join my clan. I'll see you in game. Raid Shadow Legends. Hey Caleb, let's see what you got. All right, so here we have the Beskar Spearhead, and it's got three parts. We've got two blades, and those are gonna be made out of 1-8 stainless that we can slice out on the laser cutter. And then this point is gonna be machined on the lathe, and I think it'll look really good. This flange sticking out here is so that it can easily slide into the stainless steel tube, and we'll be left with a really nice six foot long Beskar Spear. All right, well, that looks good to me. Uh, I guess I'll get to it. This spear looks so good. Thanks, that finish took forever to do, but I'm so glad it turned out well. Check out the blaster though. Couple of finishing touches and we'll be ready to test. That worked really well. I love a good fire. Well, how do we test the spear? I think it works. Nice. With the spear, blaster, and flamethrower finished, we're getting closer to completing the entire Mandalorian suit. 
In chapter three, James will build the iconic helmet. That video is available right now to members. Of course, if you're not already a member and can't get enough of our Mandalorian series, click the link below to become a member and revel in all that early access glory, getting to see our videos before anyone else. This is the way.